Hey everyone, Jim here from Culture Coffee Bean. I'm with Adam Pesky, Director of Coffee at Reunion Island Coffee. And Adam is here today to describe the differences between their four main espressos. Adam? Sure. Yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll start on my right here uh, with our Barlino. So Barlino is our oldest, uh, oldest blend. It's been, you know, for our 20 years we've had Barlino. Uh, and it has stood the test of time as sort of a classic Italian espresso. Not too dark, not too light. It's a blend of uh, Colombia, Brazil, and Guatemala, so it's just a really nice, well-rounded, um, chocolatey, creamy espresso. Great body and balance. Uh, then we get kind of into our new school espressos. So starting with Aero, it would be our darkest espresso. Still not a dark, what I would call a dark roast, but it's it's more of a, a medium roast. Um, gives it a lot of uh, a lot of depth, character. Really tastes nice in in milk. Um, it's a blend of uh, Tanzania and uh, Colombian beans, so it has a bit of fruit from the Tanzania, traditional East African kind of flavor profile, um, and it's really nicely balanced out by the Colombia. Uh, Cannonball was uh, was an old is an old favorite of mine. We've been roasting it for almost five years now, and it's a fair trade and organic blend. Uh, it's a little bit of a lighter roast really sweet and fruity and that comes from the East African coffees that are in it that's a fair trade organic Ethiopia aromia um, and uh, matched again with a Colombian coffee so we like to use Colombia's as a, as a nice uh, sort of base to bring the coffees together and create a lot of balance in our espressos and then finally we have our bullet which is our best seller it's our you know collective favorite around the office um, it's a beautiful direct trade um, uh, single origin Brazil from a farm called Cachoeira de Grama. Uh, we roast it pretty light, but because it's a Brazilian coffee, it uh, maintains a lot of body and depth of flavor. Uh, really milk chocolatey, uh, nutty, again, tastes great in milk. Um, and also with this coffee, uh, for every pound we sell of it, we donate 25 cents to an organization called Grounds for Health, which does cervical cancer research and preventative uh, programs on coffee farms and in coffee communities. Fantastic, thanks Adam. My pleasure.